The Great Fire by Lou Yurenik relates a story that most should know, but very few do know. I wanted the book hoping to discover ammunition in order to win pointless debates, but instead I discovered a hero who used the grace and mercy that he found through the work of Jesus Christ and was able to save untold numbers. He may not be well known and applauded today, but he is surely a hero in the kingdom of heaven. The Great Fire relates the story of the burning of Smyrna at the hands of the Turks, the Turks who are already neck deep in the first great genocide of the 20th century. The Turks following World War I poured into the city of Smyrna with the goal of expelling all non-Muslims from the city, and in their conquest, they burned the city to the ground. The Great Fire focuses on the heroic efforts of primarily two individuals, YMCA missionary Asa Jennings and Navy Lieutenant Commander Halsey Powell. These two men led an evacuation that brought a quarter of a million people out of the reach of the fire that was consuming the city and saved who knows how many lives in the process. Urenic presents a story that is unexpected and unbelievable as the least likely men become two of the greatest advocates for the weak and the dying that this world has ever seen. I do want to point out that this is not an easy read as some parts of this book are graphic, recounting the cruelty of the Turkish soldiers who descended upon the defenseless individuals in the city of Smyrna, and Uranic's well-researched work does not shy away of the horrors of those tragic days. The cruelty described in this book serves to further highlight the importance of the gracious men who worked tirelessly to save individuals that they don't even know in the city of Smyrna. My favorite part of this book and the section that impacted me the most occurred not in the main section of the book, but in the afterward. Following the horror and the abuses that Jennings witnessed in the city of Smyrna as it burned to the ground, Urenic relates the follow, what followed in Asa Jennings' life after the fires had burned out. Greece awarded Asa Jennings its highest military and civilian awards. And in the years that followed, he returned to Turkey, embarked on a new project, the American Friends of Turkey, an organization whose mission was to create child care clinics, sports clubs, and libraries in Turkey. The Great Fire shows us a man who had every reason to live the rest of his life as a hardened enemy of the Turks. Yet he returned in order to serve them and share the mercy of Jesus Christ with them. I read The Great Fire in order to find ammunition, in order to attack Muslims for their brutal history of attacking others in the name of Islam. I was instead challenged by the example of Asa Jennings. To not use this story as a weapon to attack Muslims, but instead to grow in my own understanding of Islam and of Muslims so that I can share the grace of Jesus Christ with them and win them for the gospel. The Great Fire is an important and profound story that has been overlooked far too often. May we learn from the past so as not to repeat the mistakes of our fathers and learn from the courage of those who walked in the grace and the mercy of Christ. So I recommend The Great Fire for any person who, had, who relishes 20th century history, for any person who wants to learn a story that they've never heard before, and any person who wants to see the grace, the love, and the mercy of Christ on full display in the most terrifying of circumstances.